These men go to countries where there are poor women and wife them because we won't submit to men who have nothing and they know that. So I'm from a poor country. I was born in a poor country. And it's funny because my family back home, uh, my aunts, they're lawyers. And these aunts that are lawyers, they submit to men. They're very feminine. They still take care of the home. They still have that feminine energy. They're still traditional but they have a career. So it's very interesting that people just assume that everybody in foreign countries are all poor and they don't have an education. A lot of these women have better educations than a lot of the women in the West. But guess what? Even though they have education, they keep their feminine side. They don't let that education take over and bring them into their masculine energy. And they're not feminists. Also, you know the thing is that there are a lot of poor women in the West, actually in America and Canada. There's a lot of single moms that are living off of the government. There's a lot of poor women. So the women that usually ask for the most in the West usually have the least to offer. That's what I've noticed. And they usually have the most baggage. So it is quite ignorant for women to talk about other women in other countries and put them down because what you're doing right there, you are putting them down when in reality, in the West, it's not, it's not great. I mean, a lot of women that are in, in, in the Western society are just highly entitled. They think that no matter what their situation is, they deserve everything. They deserve all the money. They deserve all the men. They deserve all the opportunities. And they deserve to reserve the right to talk crap about other women in other countries men in other countries men in the west all they do is talk 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 and complain and try to act like men and they wonder why men don't want to deal with them this is a great example from her saying she's from another country she knows women that have these uh, professions in these other countries and they're still feminine because the thing is is that their whole upbringing their whole life their their um trained to be wives they're trained to be uh to be in this nurturing type of situation they're trained to understand that family comes first and everything else is secondary and i the odds are a lot of these women would probably give that up if it was an opportunity to give it up and just be a full-time mom and take care of the family but see people in the west women in the west they have been taught that anything that's traditional is weak is is being a slave is is um you know uh bowing down to men when it really just comes down to biology i mean if we're not gonna adhere to our biological nature what are we even here for right if women in the west are so focused on trying to take on masculine roles be men what are we even doing here because you cannot expect men to remain men and do the things that men do and have done traditionally throughout time, but yet the women can pick and choose when they want to be feminine, pick and choose when they want to be nurturing. This situation has to be right, or a man has to prove this for that to come out of a woman. That's backwards. And my opinion is that women in the West are always fighting their biological nature because it doesn't matter where a woman is around the world biology does not change but women in the west media movies all of these things are constantly bombarding bombarding these women with the notion that they can just act like men be like men but yet still retain all of the tra these traditional values it does not work it's never going to work this is another reason why men are jumping on planes, finding women in other countries that come from a more true traditional background. Because if you can go to another country, like her example, and see these women in these positions, right, um, of leadership or whatever you want to call it, and they can still be extremely feminine, still put their family first, then that means that women in the West can do the same thing. But media, is constantly conditioning conditioning these women to do the complete opposite and lying to them telling them that they could have it all if they just put in this effort but the effort that they're talking about is chasing a bag chasing money chasing careers 
being a mom, being traditional, that is not on their priority list. They actually truly believe that they can spend all this time and waste all this time doing all these other things that have nothing to do with their biological nature and then one day flipping on the switch and saying, I'm ready. They wait till they're 35 years old. Now it's a high risk pregnancy. They wait till they're 35 years old. Now they've, they've kicked a lot of options that they had, uh, looked over a whole bunch of men that were the best option for them because either they thought that they could do better or they wanted to chase their money first and they believe this narrative of you can just wait until you're ready and find your knight in shining armor and it just does not work it hasn't worked and it's not going to work. so for all these women that complain about men going overseas there's a reason for that men wouldn't go overseas if they didn't have to okay that is the bottom line. Men would not go overseas if they didn't have to. Do you understand what's involved with men having to do that? You know how much money men have to pay to do that, to make that a reality? I'm sure a lot of you have seen 90 Day Fiance. Do you know what the, the process is for that? Do you know how much money that takes? Do you know how much time that takes? Why would anybody smart say, well, you know what? If I could get the same thing in my country, why go to another country? The fact is, if they could get the same thing in their country, in the West, they would not go over to these other countries and look for these women. But see, women in the West, the majority of them, they don't care. They don't acknowledge that. They don't want to listen to what men think because they've conditioned, been conditioned uh, to, to where they don't have to. They think that they don't have to. They think that they don't have to care about what men actually want they have been taught to only focus on themselves make everybody bow down to what they are what they have and call them queens men are fed up with it and this whole thing about the passport bro is really ridiculous because you know this has been going on for decades it's nothing new people men and women have went to other countries rather they're in their military or whatever the case may be and found love this whole country in the United States is a melting pot of people from other countries. So that argument is pretty stupid anyway. But today in modern times, if women would just truly get out of their own way and listen to their biological calling, things would be different. But they refuse to. This is the problem. And then a lot of those that do get married they start believing this propaganda at the same time well you have to be happy all the time everything has to be roses and sunshine and and rainbows all the time and if it's not get a divorce if you're not happy get a divorce and that's what a lot of these women are doing there's a lot of women 40 30s 40s even 20s 20s 30s 40s 50 60 years old that decided, you know what, I'm not happy every day. Life is supposed to be sunshine and lollipops. It's supposed to be happy every day. And because I'm not, I'm going to get a divorce. And as soon as I get a divorce, I'm going to have so many options. Because the girlfriends have been telling them, you'll find somebody, girl. There's going to be a knight in shining armor. You deserve better than that. And then these women do this, make this mistake of getting divorced, throwing away their whole family. And then they're all on the dating sites. They're all on TikTok. They're all on Instagram begging for attention, begging for love, begging for commitment. A man is not going to choose you to get into a situation like that when you were already in a situation and you decided to throw it away. How is that man going to know you're not going to do it again? Odds are you will, because there's a lot of people that have been divorced more than one time. So I think the biggest problem with Western women is that they believe the hype. They believe their own hype. They believe that their value is higher than what it actually is. There is no modesty. There is no empathy. It's all about being self-centered. It's all about being narcissistic. And that's why they keep losing to these women in other countries, because men are just sick and tired of it. They're sick and tired of being raked over the coals in relationships and divorce um, with their children. So why even bother? Why even take a chance to deal with a woman in Western society when odds are 
high odds tell you it's not going to work, you're going to lose, and it's just not worth it. So you have the power to achieve anything you want. Don't let anything or anyone distract you from your goals. And remember, stay focused, stay strong, and stay positive. Make sure to like, subscribe, and share this video with those in need.